Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to extrapolate from a graph or a table. So let's say I graph how many push-ups I can do each day, practicing getting better, and so I don't know exactly how many I can do on day 18, but I could extrapolate from this past data and kind of predict. So let's say it looks like it was around 18 push-ups before I practiced and looks like we're around 48 and if I draw a straight line between those two let's see if the other data matches fairly well yeah there's some above that some below that so that's pretty good so we increased by um, 30 push-ups in 15 days that comes out to be two push-ups per day so if I'm at 48 and I increase by for three more days, three times two equals six. I'm at 48 already, and then I go six more. So I should be able to get up to 54 push-ups. Another way to do that would be to say, well, the equation for that graph is 18 plus two for every day, and put in a, an 18. So 18 plus 2, 18. So that'd be 18 plus 36 is 54. <clears throat> so if we have a table like that, and we want to predict year 7, so from 50 to 125 is an increase of 75 in five years that turns out to be 15 more cattle every year on average it's not always 15 so like from here to here was 13 and from here to here was 19 um, from here to here was 13 but anyways more or less and so if we say we're going up 15, starting at 50, plus 15 every year, and the number of years is 7, I could say 50 plus 15, 7. 7 times 10 is 70, 7 times 5 is 35, so 105 plus 50, 155. building a nice herd of cattle or the time could be getting less the more I practice on the mile run so going from 420 to 395 in five weeks that's a change of 25 in five weeks that's I'm dropping five seconds per week so you could say, well, that's 420 minus 5 times the number of weeks. And they say, well, what about week 10? Well, if W is 10, 5 times that would be 50. So 420 minus 50 would be 370. Now, 6 minutes is 360. So I went from seven minute mile almost down to a six minute mile in ten weeks so that's really how it works more or less if you are serious about your practice anyways we can extrapolate using a graph or a table going to the extremes is a good way if they fall in a fairly repeatable pattern 